What's up everybody, Devin up here and I'm back and today I got the OG iPod right here. There we go. Now a lot of people even know what this even is. They've even seen this before. It's the old school iPod right here. So I never owned one when it came out. Uh, the first time I ever seen an iPod is when the game had it in that music video. That black and red iPod. I think that's where everybody else kind of seen it too. This is the first iPod right here. So we're gonna unbox and get this, get this up out the way. You know, it's Apple's anniversary coming up. Apple 20th anniversary. So we're gonna do something special and unbox this and get into it. You know what I'm saying? Also, I got the original iPhone too. So we're gonna get into that in the next video. But for right now, we got this. We're gonna unbox it. Let's get into it. All right, so what we have here is the original 2001 iPod. Very rare find. Not a lot of people have this. And also this is going for a nice penny on eBay. If you look it up, how much this is going for, I might consider, you know, parting ways. All right, so let's get into the specs. Show how far we had came. So here it is, iPod right here. For real, for real, Apple need to come back with this kind of textile and come back with this kind of release. You know, this sometime this year or maybe next year, just for nostalgia purposes, like that'll be that that'll be fire. Instant sellout. That'd be fire. Alright, so here we go. Let's read this. Alright, so let's look at the features. Holds over 1,000 songs at near CD quality on five gigabytes hard drive. You know, back in the day, that had to have been a lot. Like five gigabytes, that's nothing now. Are you serious? You know, phones come with 128 now or 64, five and 2000, thousand songs. That was a lot. Two CDs can only hold what 10, 10, 12 tracks, and this time on a thousand songs on the first iPod. That's wild. 10 hours of continuous playback with rechargeable lithium polymer battery. Bro, 10 hours in 2000. So y'all having a hard time cracking that 24 hour battery mark, but but y'all can just freely have 10 hours in 2001. Like, you know what I'm saying? What's, what's going on? Like y'all can't break that 24 hours yet, but that's still a lot though, like 10 hours. Yo, how much did this cost back in the day when it came out? This y'all had to be expensive. Super portable at 6.5, all right. All right, just, just know it was small and you can put it in your pocket. Automatically synchronizes music and playlists with iTunes on your Mac. Yo, first of all, that's not a feature. That's 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 a detriment, okay? Because we all know the moment you put in your iPod, iPhone, anything today on iTunes, it's ready to delete everything and sync everything <laughs> onto your iPad, on, onto whatever device you got iTunes was trash for that, but I love iTunes, the old iTunes, because you used to be able to burn CDs on there. Y'all know what I'm talking about. They used to just ready to just delete everything, okay? You, you can be over your front house trying to charge your battery, and if you don't pay attention, I'm telling you, all your stuff will be gone. Everything will be gone. All the stuff you downloaded from, from LimeWire and Aries back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Gone. Deleted. Yes, I say lime wire and Aries, okay? Yeah, yeah, I remember those days too. That that was around this era. That was this era, yep. Stealing music, burning music, put them on CDs. You remember that? Unique scroll wheel for simple one-handed navigation. And I was lit, son. Don't lie, the scroll wheel was lit back in the day, son. They they knew they would they knew what they was doing. Plays MP3, wave, that's what's up. 
high res backlit LCD display. Hey, stop playing. That joint was not high resolution. That joint was that, that joint was 480 quality. That joint was name is 720. It includes iPod, Apple earphones, FireWire cable, and AC adapter. Yo, that was going crazy, son. <laughs> Firewire cable. You know, Firewire cables was put on PCs. That's how you know this one was a lot. So it requires a Macintosh with Firewire port and Mac OS 9.2 and Mac OS X 10.1. Yo, what are we on now with Mac OS? This is crazy. All right, so now we know the requirements and features. Let's get this thing started. All right, so here we are. iPod. Yo, look at this. You got the old school styrofoam right here. Oh, well, let me stop scratching it. Let me stop. I'll probably piss somebody off just now with that. All right, so here it goes. Yo, this is old school right here. Yo, look how fresh this is. This is a collector's item right here, y'all. I need to be careful with this. Look how fresh it is. Yo, fresh and new. Look at this. Still got the sticker on it and the plastic on here. I ain't about to open this up or touch this. So we got an Apple logo on it. You put this into the CD drive and, you know, pretty much the firmware to install stuff. Getting started. Yo, look at the book. Oh snap, look at the old iPod. Look at the old uh, <laughs> stuff. It looked like to, it's the same stuff to this day. Apple kept stuff since day one. Yo, that's what I'm talking about. Remember this? Yes. <laughs> this is what my iTunes used to look like. This is my iTunes. Anyone who says about, anyone who brings up iTunes, I, I, this is the image that I have in my head. All right, so here's the direction. Connect the iPod to the computer, download music, learn more, charge battery. Here's low key the poster. Play music and set preferences. All right, let me, let me put this beauty back. Let me put this beauty back. So here we are. So this is super old school. Look at this. Here's the original Apple headphones right here. So you know you get, you get the millimeter jack right here. And then you have the headphones right here. So you got L and R right here. And then you got these big speakers, <laughs> AKA headphones. I hated these things. These does not fit in anyone's ear. They always used to fall out. I don't know why they ever made headphones like these back in the day, but they were so bad. Like, it, it, it was terrible. Don't get me wrong. These to be jamming and these had some nice bass, but these they just constantly fall out of people's ears. Like no one ear is shaped like this. It, it was horrible. It aged horribly, but it was lit back in the day. So I, I, I give it a pass, okay? I, I had some, some good memories with these. So next is the charger. Still new, still fresh. Still got the tags on it. Um, here's the Firewiper outlets right here. The sticker is still on it, so I'm not really gonna touch this, but y'all know what it is. This, this is the charger port for it. We still got this to this day, y'all don't know. Little power blocks. And here's the Firewire cable right here. Nice and retro and sexy right here with the Apple logo on it. You feel me? Thick cables. Terrible. <laughs> yeah, I better appreciate these uh, lightning cables now. Man. I'm telling you, cause this this stuff is crazy. This is not my time, but I'm I'm just as shocked as you are. This is crazy. This is what y'all went through. I, f I felt bad for y'all. This is this is crazy. I, I love my lightning chargers. <laughs> Here's the Apple iPod itself. This big thickness is glory right here. Let me take this off. This thing is crazy. Look how thick this is, man. It's as thick as my finger. Well, even bigger. Like, this is crazy. This thing is huge. 
but it's small at the same time. What can I compare this to? Uh, I can't. I can't compare this to anything. But here it is. Um, so uh, let's run let's run this down. Um, so you have the screen right here. Of course, you no, know, you gotta see. Then you got the dial wheel. Like I said, you gotta dial this, and it spins nice. It's not still. There's actually a wheel right here. You have a button in the middle, and then you have the buttons on the outside. You know, you got pause and play, back forward, you have the menu to, uh, you know, fish things around. Nothing, nothing's at the bottom or the sides. Still got the logo on the back, iPod, just nice. Then you got the stuff on top, you know, the firewire cable right here, aka your charger. Then you got the big headphone jack right here and then you got the whole button so you know if you like your music and if you don't want to accidentally skip it you hit this whole button so it will hold so if you hit buttons on accidents it won't do anything or move but yeah that's it this is freaking awesome i don't know what to do i don't know if i should really turn it on i really don't want to okay i'm kind of scared to turn it on i'm i don't know if it's even gonna work i'm sure it will work like i said this is literally brand new Still, kinda. I mean, I'm touching it and stuff, but it's in great condition, clearly. Oh yeah. So this also this message right here when you first get the iPod it says "Don't steal music," and it says the same thing in four different languages. There you go. Don't steal music. Like I said, around this time, um, at LimeWire Aries was just starting. It wasn't on fire yet, but it was just starting. So. And that's the iPod. Like, what do you guys think? Awesome collection, right? Simple video. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse. But yeah, what do you guys think? If you guys want a part two, let me know. I can um charge it and um I guess do more if you guys want me to do. But this is what it looked like when you turn it on. You notice that Apple logo and it's all pixelated and stuff. It's awesome, buddy. That's just what it is, you know? Yeah. This is the iPod. Um, yeah, thanks for watching my video. Let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, <laughs> 20 years. We came a long way from that to what we got now. We went from a music player to a phone. So we, you know, we, we did a lot. We came a long way. We came a long way. First things first, I'm gonna say, what is your guys' memories with an iPod, iPod Touch, iPod Nano, Shuffle? What is your guys' memories like with an iPod or I guess Apple products related to this? Um, not a phone. We're talking about just we're just talking about the iPod in general. So let's keep it there. What is your guys' memories with it? I'll say this first things first. My first introduction to an iPod was during the game's music video. I can't remember what it was, but he had like a black and red iPod. And I didn't really know what it was and I didn't really care too much about it. So that was probably, that was probably in like 2003 and four when I first discovered it. But this has been out since 2000, I had no idea. My first possession of an iPod was the iPod shuffle. It was like a long, like a little, like a little stick. And uh, I had it, it was pretty much a flash drive that you can add music to. Cause on the bottom, if you pull it out, it had the flat, it had like a, like a, it was like a flash drive. You can just insert it into anything. So that was my first introduction to it. Um, it was awesome. I had it, somebody stole it. I know who stole it, but somebody stole it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I got them back, but I never got it back. So, I'm just leave it like that. Okay, I got them back, but I ain't get it back. <laughs> and I don't care, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> when that stuff, stuff like that happens, man, trust me, karma, karma happens and blessings will happen to you. And trust me, I got a blessing, I got another one pretty much that same year, so. And it was the Nano, so 
that was that you know what I'm saying? I didn't even tell nobody that it happened. It was gone. So it it just another one came into my lap. You feel me? Blessings right there, you know what I'm saying? It happens, okay? <laughs> Trust me, bad things happen to you. We're not even getting into that. Anyway, uh yeah, so that was my first introduction to that. And like I said, I loved it. I had Tupac on it. I had Tupac on it, Ja Rule DMX. Uh, yeah, In That Order and Bone Thugs and Harmony Crossroads. You had to have Crossroads around that time. So I said 2003. <clears throat> I said 2003 and 2004. So I know I had 50 and I had Ludacris. I remember Ludacris had, Ludacris came out, Ludacris was hot. So I had him. Southern Hospitality was, was my everyday song. <laughs> Bro, I love Southern Hospitality. That, that, was, that was my, that was my genre. That was my song. I, I love that song. And then later on when I got to middle, no, when I got to ninth grade, I got an iPod Touch. It was, like, it was like the iPhone before the iPhone, man. I think it was the iPod Touch, but I had that. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to say how I got it, but it's no, I got my hands on one. I feel, <laughs> I'm older now, so I feel bad for it, but y'all yeah, know what I'm talking about, how I got it. I got it, um, and I thought that was cool because uh, I was able to go on the internet. I was able to go on the internet, you know, I'm being young on the internet. Y'all know what I'm on. I'm going crazy. Then what was that joint? It was it was jailbreaking. Jailbreaking was high around that time. Um, jailbroke my phone, everything. Oh, jailbroke the iPod Touch. It was crazy. I, I had so much fun with it. So I jailbroken it. Um, it was. Y'all yeah, remember? Y'all yeah, remember them days? You know what I'm saying? Um, I hacked it. <laughs> Man, it it was so much. It was so much. But, all right, guys, share your comments and stories down below. Please, I definitely, 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 definitely want to hear them with iPods only. Not iPhones yet, because we're going to do that later. Let me know what y'all did down below. Throw them through for your boy, and I'm out. Peace. Thanks for watching.